Hey there and welcome to my channel, The Paper Bag Investor. Today's video, I want to look at a five-year projection for the value of Square's Cash App. Five-year projection that I've done, kind of laid out some numbers to see how much uh, could be Square's Cash App worth in about five years' time. And I'm excited to share this with you because I think a lot of people kind of miss, don't quite understand Square and their valuation. So let's get into it. Before I go any further, I want to make it absolutely clear, not a personal financial advisor, just a guy with a paper bag on his head who loves investing, who loves thinking about the future. And if you love investing, you love thinking about the future, and you get value out of this video, I encourage you, hit that subscribe button down below and follow along, become a better investor with me. But again, not personal financial advice. Uh, please remember to think for yourselves and do your own due diligence. So let's get into it. Okay, here's my spreadsheet for Square's Cash App. And if you're not familiar with some of my other Square videos, my Square thesis in a nutshell is that Square's Cash App could have huge, huge growth ahead of it. That's because if uh, they really have the, the potential to solve one problem, and that's the ability to send any quantity of money instantly to anybody else within the same infrastructure, same silo, or same banking silo. And of course, a bank, if you bank at a bank right now, traditional bank, you can send money to somebody else in the world who's also under the same bank instantly. There's also lots of other ways to electronically transfer money, but usually there's some, there's fees on that. Usually there's some minimum payments amounts on that. Usually there's maximum payment amounts on that. Um, and usually there's um, processing time can be a little bit longer than you might want on that. So I, the way I see it is that the Cash App, if that continued to grow, it could have really powerful network effects that could continue to drive further and further adoption uh, and bring more and more people into the Cash App ecosystem, which would basically be one uh, banking ecosystem that people do a lot of their banking under. And uh, that's that's my that's my thesis in a nutshell. It's seen a lot of growth, growth, and that's what I'm most excited about as a Square investor. The seller side of the business, as a Square investor, I'm not. I don't care about too much really. But uh, you know, obviously, I think it complements the business and could complement the Cash App over time. If more and more businesses, not even just users, but actual businesses, uh, use a use an ecosystem that could. Um, uh, connect with the Cash App seamlessly, so they could receive payments um, through a Cash App, uh, you know, user instantly. Okay, so let's look at this spreadsheet. I'm gonna explain it in detail as we go through here. So, this is today monthly active users on the Cash App is about 36 million, and it's all gonna be in millions. And then the gross profit per monthly active user is about 41 dollars um, per year per user. That's gross profit from the Cash App side. And that grew about 50% year over year, uh, just with the last uh, quarterly results from last year that came out not too long ago. And yeah, and this was 36 million. Um, oh no, sorry. This 36 million number, 50% year over year, the gross profit per monthly active user grew 70% year over year in the last year. Okay, so we're gonna project out five years into the future and looking at cash at monthly active users and these are different um, growth rates, so compound annual growth rates. I started at sort of the high point where they just were at 50%. Um, if they grew 50% year over year, they'd be at 273 million users in five years. If they grew um, 40, 30, 20, 10%, they're gonna be in somewhere in this spread, right? Down from sort of 58 million would be a low uh, five years out there only they go from 36 to 58 million that'd be pretty sad but a high point would be 273 million and then the gross profit per monthly active user again we have the 70 percent what they were just were at which is 582 i kind of think them again uh, the, the the actual the amount could be increasing but the percent year over year amount i think is going to decrease overall so if we're trying to pick one number to kind of represent the next five years of growth and five years from now I kind of spread it from 10% to 40% and then I did the high point of 70% to show that. So again, you could it could be you grow from $41 to 66 or more likely, you know, they're going to be I think somewhere in here, maybe even higher than this number. So maybe that 150 range, a 250 kind of range per user. Um it's where I wonder it could pan out. 
and um, I think it's going to be lower than an average bank because maybe more people are going to have uh, Cash App than we traditionally sign up for a traditional bank at this time. Um, but yeah, anyways. Okay, so yeah, if you this table basically multiplies these values together and you get a gross profit of anywhere from the low point is in, you know these 10% ranges. You're only getting about 3.8, um, and this is in millions, so it would be 3.8 billion dollars, and a high point all the way to 159 billion. Again, if it's somewhere in here, like the 30 to 40 kind of range, and let's say this grows like 30 range, you could have like, you know, this might be a realistic number, 29, 30 billion dollars of gross profit um, at that time um, on an annualized basis. So, and that, and again, they are, they grow to this range, but they grow faster in their users and they're close to 200 million. Um, they could be again at that sort of 29, 30 million range, or maybe even higher. You know, it could be even in the 40s. It's you know that's that's not impossible. Now we're going to project out their operating expenses so we can um, get some operating income. So operating expenses today were well, for last year was about 2.7 billion dollars, and five years ago it was about 544 million. So over those five years, they've had they've been growing at about 38 percent year over year. So. Um, I, I, and this is actually operating expenses for the whole company. Um, and I think it's a, it's, you know, I'm, I'm just taking is again, this is, these are rough numbers, but I'm taking about half of that, assuming half is for, um, the seller side of the business, half is for the cash app side of the business. And really just looking at the, just the cash app side of the business, what that could be worth relative to the whole value of the company today. So right now the, you know, if I take half of that, half of the operating expense a day, you get about 1.376 billion and now if we project that out 10 20 30 40 50 percent growth rates over the next five years as these expenses climb um you kind of get a spread from 2.2 to 10 billion dollars i'm going to go with the 40 percent because that's kind of what they've been growing at um you know it might even be lower than that it might be but i think that's realistic 7.4 billion dollars from 1.37 billion dollars um just for the cash app side of the expenses as things scale up so that's what i went with 7.4 billion and of course you just to get then a, a table just like this of the gross profit, you just take that and I'm subtracting that 7.4 billion from all the values in that table. And then instead of, you know, 30 billion, you're at that like kind of $22 billion range in here. These scenarios I thought, you know, could be kind of more likely, um, you know, you're talking somewhere in there. Even this could be pretty likely too. Um, that's still like a good scenario, $13 billion. Um, and they're, they're making 152 per user, 134 million users, and they get 7.4 billion on the cash app side. Then you're still going to midturn almost 13 billion of operating profit in five years time. So, and then I compare these values. Um, I kind of give it a market cap, and again, I give it a, a, a sort of a P ratio on just on the operating profit. So the operating profit um, <clears throat> or the, the market cap basically. Uh, to, relative to the operating profit, I'm going to say maybe the marketplace gives them a 20 valuation on that. So you multiply all these by 20 and you turn out, you know, you go from kind of uh, 13 here, 22 billion here up to uh, 258 billion, 441 billion here. So kind of gives you a relative what it could turn out to like <laughs> just the cash app side of the business five years from now could be like a 258 billion dollar business if they can grow to 134 million users and 152 dollars per user to me that seems pretty likely um a very possible scenario and possibly even higher into these billion in these kind of scenarios where you could get much higher maybe 200 mil, close to 200 million users 200 dollars per user uh you're talking like yeah, close to um you know 700 billion dollars for that side of the business and then i'm looking at sort of the future and present the future value that we're calculating there and relative to the present value today it, today square especially after this market slide it's like a 91 92 billion dollar business so you take that ratio of that future value divided by the present and you get these values. So again, in this sort of slot that I'm picking, you're at a 2.82x. 
that's very good. If you think you can kind of, if you can 3x in five years your money, and then you 3x again in the next, you do that twice, five years, 3x, and then at that point again, five 5x, <laughs> another five years, you 3x again, that's going to be a 9x over 10 years, right? That kind of growth rate. Um, these, again, even, even much better, <laughs> you're talking 4.81, uh, 7, you know, somewhere in here. I've seen here, it's not great if they don't. Uh, if they're not, uh, if they're monthly act, their cash, their profit, gross profit is only ninety dollars per user, and they grow to even though they grow to one hundred and fifty or one hundred fifty-two dollars per user, but they only grow to ninety million. Uh, it's not that great, one point three six. So, uh, but I think these would be more likely scenarios. If I had to pick, would be somewhere between these kind of values, somewhere in here, and um, yeah, and then I gave it as sort of a compound annual growth rate for these values, so you kind of see that again. Um, if you can, like I said, almost 2.82 times your money or 4.81 times your money, uh, you're gonna that's going to be like a 23% compound annual growth rate, anywhere to a 37% compound annual growth rate. Super awesome. <laughs> like you, if you can get over, I mean, in my mind, if you can get over 15% a year, you're doing great. If you can get over 20% a year, that's excellent. 25, 30% a year plus, that's like, that's phenomenal. So, and obviously there's even higher upside. You could potentially even get closer to 50%. And I want to point out too, you know, what we did here is we were just calculating kind of the value of cash app, only the cash app, but we, and, and, but we, we, we price, we're showing it the, the future value of cash app relative to the present value of the entire company because when you're buying shares of square you're buying the present company and you're buying the seller side you're buying the whole ecosystem so this is we're only looking at the future value of cash app and the, the actual future total value would include whatever the future value of cash app is plus the future value of the seller side of the business or any other sides of the business they get into relative today but uh, what I'm again, what I'm most excited about, and I see the most potential for, is um, the cash app growth. Of course, um, this 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 all doesn't mean anything if they can't actually scale their user growth aggressively. If they don't grow, you know, if they if they fizzle down to you know 90 million users and 66 bucks a user, uh, they're actually like um, you could say like the company's overvalued at this point. Um, yeah, so. Um, those are my thoughts, but I, but again, I, I really think I really think the, that the Cash App is solving a very important problem, which is that right now, it, everyone's banking is kind of done in different silos, and if you have a digital bank, what I'm calling the Cash App, which is sort of a bit, you know, they're calling it a digital wallet, but really making a comprehensive bank, so you can, it's really compelling, not just as a Cash App, you know, not just as a digital wallet to sign up for, but really it's compelling as a user, as a consumer to say, oh, this could be my entire bank, and that's what they're trying to do with the Cash App. That's and that's also how they would grow this this um, profit per user uh, is is offering all these other traditional banking services um, along with other services they're offering like um, they're calling like a boost service which is kind of a way of using the cash app as a form of advertising within it um, but yeah I, I just think at the crux my thesis so far makes sense to me and if the monthly active users I say this in all my square videos if the monthly active users continue to grow let's go back to the top from the 36 million and they keep growing at like 50% 30 40 even 40 30% per year oh man I'm going to keep holding on to my shares maybe even buying more shares of square because uh, I think it's fantastic. So that concludes my thoughts on this five-year cash app projection. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of this model, what you guys think about share a square. Let us know in the comments down below. And um, if you got value out of this, I really encourage you, hit that subscribe button and uh, join my channel. Uh, because I think if you like this kind of investing, long-term growth investing and thinking carefully about the future, you're going to love the content that I'm making on my channel. And I'm going to love to have you here and grow my audience and have you aboard for the discussion and uh, um, also learn things from you guys as you guys comment on my videos and give feedback. So, hey, um, thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up too. It really helps the YouTube algorithm, helps uh, get my video out there to more people. So, uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.